Greetings, everybody. This is Archdra Dre again. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a discussion video, more of uh, some updated thoughts on Doctor. Since, he, you know, his update has been out since January, I've had months on months on months to build up playtime with all of the changes that happened to him, all of the add-on tweaks that they did on the mid-chapter after it came out, and everything of that sort. So, I wanted to just dive right on into this and just look at um, the current state of Doctor and my thoughts and feelings on him. <sighs> like, two of the major things that they did to Doctor that massively modified how he feels and how he plays was his shock therapy. You no longer have to swap into uh, treatment mode. You don't have stances anymore. Those were over and done with. Um, and then his passive uh, static field that he had while he was in treatment mode, which, you know, you're in a stair radius, your, your madness would just slowly tick up. It's now an active ability called Static Blast. So once every minute, you're able to literally just, like, ping your terror radius uh, and cause everyone in your terror radius to go up one tier in madness and scream. Um, it gives you a lot more control over uh, how and when and where uh, people get found through it. So there's a little bit of nuance there. Um, but I want to go back first to his shock therapy and the fact that he doesn't have stances anymore and go over like kind of some of the numbers and everything for it. So I'm going to look at that first. Um, shock therapy, uh, before his update, it would take you one second to swap over into, um, his treatment mode. It would take you 1.1 second to charge up his shock, and then a full second for it to land and hit the survivor. But you would also still have to do the full one second swap back to punishment mode in order to be able to, you know, use your basic M1s. Um... Now with the uh, different stances gone, you don't have to do do any of that. All you really need to do is you just press your M2, charge for one second. One second later after that charge, it hits. This, it will hit onto the ground or hit the survivor if they're in it, etc. And when you finish charging the shock, you go on a 1.5 second CD now. Um, before you're able to shock again, or even use your basic M1. So you can't do anything of the sort uh, during this cooldown period, uh, as it were. You're not able to attack, you're not able to reshock again. And that's all well and good. Um, it streamlines his gameplay, it gives a lot more of a more fluid feel to his kit when you're in a chase. You don't have to always be constantly thinking, oh, I got to swap in, shock, swap back, and you got to make sure you're on the ball with your button presses back before his update. And now it's more of you just fire, forget, fire, forget. And it's just you're able to go shock into chase, shock into chase, shock into chase, rather than swap, shock, swap, chase, swap, shock, chase. It, it's, it's literally a back and forth. It was a back and forth. It was an ebb and flow sort of thing that Doc had going for him in his uh, original incarnation. Um, after playing Doc for so long, um, it really felt like this update did a lot for him to make him... The entry level of skill needed for him went like way down but that opened up the avenue for more people to maybe enjoy him. And I th see that as a good thing, but also at the same time of them lowering the skill floor, the skill ceiling came crashing down with it. Um, you d No longer uh, were you really needing to do much of anything to really actively land those very satisfying shock hits and the shock denies on people. And... It just kind of saddens me that in order to streamline them, they had to lose the f some of the fun aspects to his kit. And if I would offer su a suggestion on 
a couple minor tweaks that they could do while still keeping his current incarnation where there's no stances or anything of that sort um it would be this it would be twofold um his shock therapy cooldown needs to go up from the 1.5 seconds to either 2 to 2.25 somewhere in that small range that would be something to like number tweak and check albeit with the caveat that you would still be able to use your basic m1 1.5 seconds after you finish uh your shock so i don't want to mess with that that number is fine it's more of the shock therapy cooldown needs to be adjusted because it's kind of abusable currently um and I don't really see that as being a good or healthy thing for killer players who are playing Doctor or for survivors who are going against the Doctor right now. Um, it's just, in the words of a lot of people that I have spoken with and I've gone against and everything else, it just doesn't feel fun. It kind of feels a little boring when the Doc is able to go shock, spam, shock, 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 shock and not really have even the minorest, the most minute of drawbacks on it. And that really kind of sucks. Um, the other thing that I feel like they could do to effectively um, change his shock therapy a little bit to make it a little more skillful again while still maintaining, you know, not having the stances would be to change the shape of his shock therapy. Rather than it being a cone that gets wider to uh, as it goes further away from you, maybe have it be like just a solid sort of line rectangle, about three meters wide at most. Um, so it wouldn't get wider as it goes further out, and it would give room for survivors to have a little bit of counterplay to like dodge or evade the shock. Um, and the only other alternative idea instead of that shape would be essentially it gets more narrow towards the end. So it would start off about three meters point blank at Doctor, and then at the 10 meter max base range, it would be about one meter wide. So it would come to a focal point. And I feel like that would be a little bit better because it would be more difficult to land your shocks further out, but still roughly the same uh, closer up a little bit, you would still have to be on the ball for predicting, but I feel like it would be a little bit healthier to play against and maybe a little more enjoyable to play as, in my eyes. Um, that's just my own thoughts. Feel free to let me know if that was something that is something that you guys would like to see because, honestly, I can only see it being as something helpful and I would love to be able to test a change like that. Um, Anyways, so moving on from uh, the shock therapy to his static blast, one of the other big updates that they did uh, for his kit, it became an active ability rather than a passive just you're walking around and eventually people might scream. Um, I feel like this is a really was a really good option for them to go with because having more control over his kit was definitely a good thing. Um, however, there is still a little bit of a minor tweak that I feel like they could do to the Static Blast. I think instead of having it immediately pulse like the whole terror radius instantaneously, um, I don't really agree with that because there's very little room for um, people to have a chance to, like, maybe get out of his terror radius or get into a locker. Because if you fast vault into a locker, you're giving away your location anyways. And the point of trying to hide or evade from the static blast is to not give your location away by uh, screaming. Um, and I feel like one of the major things that they could do to his static blast uh, is maybe make it take three seconds to charge instead of the two. Um, make the audio cue for it a little bit easier to recognize because I've heard people say that it's a little difficult at times um, depending on what they're doing. And 
the other little caveat to it is the pulse would travel out from the doctor. Um, not instantaneously, but at a very rapid rate, but still give a little bit of room. So, like, if you're right on the edge of the tear radius or close to it, you'd be able to run away and evade it. I just feel like it would be something that would be uh, a bit of a healthy change uh, to his static blast, a little bit more wiggle room for survivors, which I'm always all for because at the end of the day, I really want this game, like Dead by Daylight as a whole, to succeed. I want people to enjoy going against the killer that I have put hundreds and thousands of hours into playing this killer. I enjoy him. I want people who I'm going against to at least have, you know, an enjoyable experience, more or less, you know? There's always going to be matches where, you know, maybe somebody gets hot-headed because something in the match happened and something fucked up. Like, we all have those matches. I'm saying just the general state of Doctor, I feel like, needs to uh, be turned around into a little bit better uh, state of affairs. And the changes I outlined for Shock Therapy and Aesthetic Blast, I feel like both of which could potentially be very healthy, um, both to play with and against. And those are the two biggest things that they did to him, in my eyes. Um, and overall, they just really heavily streamlined Doctor. Like, I've had a lot of fun with his changes. It's felt really nice. Um, I will say that aside from that, um, they did do add-on tweaks and adjustments. And for the most part, most of Doc's add-ons just feel kind of meh. Probably because, like, they standardized a lot of um, his add-ons um, and the fact that most of his add-ons are Affliction add-ons. And the only differences between the Affliction add-ons is the small minor passive on them. And that doesn't... N it doesn't really feel that great, honestly. Um, he also has a, f a few of his add-ons that are kind of problematic. Uh, I still don't really like his iridescent king um because it it just feels kind of like a wasted add-on honestly because the moment any survivor hits into madness one they have all of his afflictions and that's literally all the add-on does it's so fucking lackluster and it bores me to tears i mean it's still better than what it was before where you have to shock everybody to get your afflictions on to everybody. Um, like, I'm glad that they changed it from that at least. But I feel like they could still do something to tweak it to make it a little bit more interactive, maybe a little bit have something more fun. Because, like, when they introduced the Iridescent Queen, the Eerie Queen um, is a really, really cool add-on. It does... It can be kind of annoying when stacked with other things, but like on its own, mwah, it's a it's pretty much a chef's kiss of a add-on in my eyes. It I don't usually use it myself. Like I haven't used one in a while, but like just from seeing it and seeing other people use it, it's a really really good solid add-on, and I'm glad that they introduced that one. Um. Moving on to some of his other add-ons, the ones that I have the biggest problems with, though, and that's more from the gameplay, like, gameplay in the learning curve of Doctor, um, would be his discipline add-ons, specifically for the passive, but the affliction on them is also kind of eh. And the other add-ons that I have an issue with are his ranged add-ons, um, both of which, uh, oh boy, let me let me just start with his discipline add-ons. Okay, so the passive on his discipline add-ons uh, lowers the shock detonation delay. So you know how his uh, shock therapy has a one second charge time, and then a one second time before it will actually hit the survivor. That is the detonation delay of one second. The yellow lowers this by 0.1 second. The green lowers it by 0.2, and his Carter Note purple version 
lowers it by 0.3 and this stacks. So you can have the purple and the green one on at the same time and it will lower that detonation delay by half. And that is insane because there's really no counterplay. There's no real way you can deal with that. It's very bustedly strong. Um, I am a huge proponent that that it, at the very least, the passive on the discipline add-ons needs to be fully reworked, period. Like, it is way too disgustingly strong, especially in the hands of somebody who knows what they're doing with it. But even if you don't know what you're doing with uh, Doc Shock Therapy, it's going to just net you things that you should not be able to get, like, at all. And it's going to also make things incredibly, incredibly unfun to deal with uh, versus the doctor. Um, the affliction of discipline also has issues because uh, I know it can cause some headaches for some people, kind of like uh, how um, clowns gas can give people a little bit of like migraines, headaches, etc. Um, but the constant pulsing of the red, like the heartbeat and the red light on your back for the survivors um, and the fact that it even removes uh, the doc's red stain while that effect is active on a survivor um, is pretty nasty. It, it very, very heavily um, takes out a lot of mind game potential for survivors. Like, they lose so much information for it just from an add-on. It's literally getting the strength of the passive effect of the discipline add-on and like having a constant um what do you call it the one huntress perk uh, ba -ba -bum. i can't remember the name of it right off the top of my head but i will in a moment Beast of Prey, that was it. So you're essentially getting that effect um, constantly just from an add-on. It's like you're getting a very equivalent effect um, just f by slapping on this add-on and having them up in at least Tier 2 Madness. It's for literally just having a single add-on on, um, the Discipline add-on can literally carry a match for you just it it will help you decimate chases in such a very brutal fashion it is incredibly unfun to deal with um and i feel like it really if you're if you're just constantly using this add-on as doctor i feel like it really dumbs down the play style for him um it removes a lot of means of counterplay and just generally isn't that fun. Like, in my eyes, it's one of the worst add-ons that they've updated for him. And I seriously think they need to look into changing both the passive and the affliction. But the bare minimum, the passive on it needs to be changed. Um. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting a little rambly. Um. I'm going to move on to the ranged add-ons because I have had enough of the discipline add-on. Uh, his range add-ons, um, they are very just straightforward. The brown one gives him two meters range uh, on onto his base range. The yellow is three, the green is four. Um, the issue comes from the fact that they removed the charge time penalty that they had on him. Uh, and I don't really think I agree with that change uh, <laughs> uh a lot of people will say will probably disagree with me on this but uh his range add-ons i feel like need to have that charge penalty it needs to have a trade-off for the amount of strength that it gives you um i understand that a lot of people aren't that accustomed to his base range of 10 meters and they always say it's oh it's too short it doesn't feel good um 
but I feel like those are also the same people that didn't give a shot to practice and learn how and where and why they are able to utilize that 10 meter base range. Um, it, 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 the range add-ons take out a lot of the starting learning curve for Doc, because the main thing that you got to learn when you're playing Doctor for like your first times is literally learning how and where you are able to shock, learn your range, learn where and how and what will actually hit the survivors, get a feel for the distance that you need to char start charging to where it'll actually hit them, even at the max range. Like, these are basic things that you have to learn when you are first getting into Doctor. And the range add-ons just completely throw that out the window, and it's just kind of saddening. <sighs> I if I would offer up a change for this one, um, for the range add-ons, it would be to re-implement a charge penalty on them. Um, for each, uh, each additional um, meter that the range add-on would give, it w I would ask that they would uh, increase the um, charge penal like the charge time by at least 0.1 second. Um, Probably, preferably 0.15. So that way the brown would be 1.3 second charge. The yellow would be 1.45. And the green would be a 1.6. Um, because just being able to spam shock at, <laughs> at almost half of your base terror radius away just from that and having it be the cone, it's just stupidly easy to hit. It's it it really removes a lot of the skill from his base kit, even though like they've already lowered the skill floor enough as it is, and then you slap these range add-ons on top of it, and it just lowers it even more. And it it's just really saddening to see in this killer that I put so much time and energy into. I want this killer to be good for not only people to play, but also to play against. Because we're all playing this game together. It's a it's a fun party community game. There's a lot of people that have put many thousands upon thousands upon thousands of hours into this game. And we're still playing this game over four years later. I want this game to keep on succeeding, and I want people to enjoy the killer that I play because I don't really see myself stopping. I also want to see more people get into this killer and have a good time with him. But, like, there's got to be, you know, a balancing act between both sides. It can't just be all favored towards, hey, this killer's weak. We should just buff him and say screw the survivors or something along those lines. Like, you, there has to be a balance between both sides. Like, legitimately has to be. So, I think I'm going to wrap up my thoughts there. Um, those are, like, the main things that stand out to me. His shock therapy, static blast, uh, a few of his add-ons. Those are probably the biggest things that I feel like need some tweaks and need to be, like, readjusted. Um that they changed in his update. There's other things that I feel like they could do to Doc's kit. Um, but I'm not going to go too deep diving into that right now. Um, I've already talked to you guys' ears off enough as it is. But if you guys enjoyed uh, hearing my thoughts on Doctor, feel free to let me know. Feel free to comment. Feel free to discuss like any of the ideas that I've stated here in the comments below. Or just bring them up to me on Discord, or if you have me on Twitter, I will put my Twitter in, in the in the description below as well. Feel free to let me know. I am down to discuss and talk about Doctor. Like, I'll sit here and talk your ear off. It doesn't matter. I love doing it. I'm very passionate about this killer. I'm very passionate about this game. And, yeah. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for taking your time. And I will see you guys in the fog 
enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Take care, peeps. Have a good night.